everybody, welcome back to another Let's Play here at Random Theory. We are playing Okie Dokie. This is part Trace. Again, I have my director, Jermaine Rubalcava. Did you just say Okie Dokie? Is that what I said? <laughs> what is it? The Doki Doki, sorry. Doki Doki, sorry. Doki Doki Literature Club. I am Damien Miles. Uh, let's get this show on the road. Okay, we're back here with Sayuri. You have a little mouse? No, hold up. It's because it's one of those Mac mouses. Okay, I got it. It's facing the right way now. Okay. Alright. Just as excited to see me as she was last time. Fantastic. I like it. She wants to talk about what happened earlier. Oh, what did happen earlier? I forgot. What do you mean? Alright. You know, between your... Oh, that's right. It did get awkward last time. They got in a huge argument. It's these faces. These faces really weird me out. I think it's more because they don't really have, like, a nose. I mean, you can see the nose. But there's just like, there's a lot of space. And there's a lot of eye taking up the face. It's just weird. It freaks me out every time. Maybe that was done intentionally. Oh, maybe. Who knows? I don't know. I mean, I don't know. That's not my cup of tea, but whatever. We're playing the game either way. Who is your cup of tea? Black. Get <laughs> <laughs> that out, please. Hey Damien, what's up? So you're re I said yo, but whatever. Mine sounds better anyways. Looks like you're in a good mood today. She looks like she's always in a good mood. Look at her, she's always smiling. Look at that. She brightens up my day. Every day. Not like the other lady. What was the other name? Suki? Su you mean the, the petite one? Yeah, the really tiny one. Not the petite one. The petite one, we had a little contradiction between you and I as far as what petite is. And we'll, we'll go through that later again. Speaking of which, I'm kind of hungry. She's gonna invite me? Oh. Alright, it's kind of like a date. We're just gonna go buy a snack at the vending machine. I guess that's cool. Who hasn't been on that date before? Uh, I haven't. Oh. I have class. I was a cool kid. Like, hate ladies as I just leaned on the vending machine. Yeah, you wanna go to the vending machine? <laughs> I'll buy you whatever chips you want. Don't buy the beef jerky, it's expensive. <laughs> Cause then all they get is the hot Cheetos and... Then they have the hot Cheeto fingers? Yeah. I was never a fan of that. You know what? I remember eating a lot of hot Cheetos growing up, and then one day I just couldn't stand the fiery poops anymore, and I had to stop eating hot Cheetos. It just wasn't worth it. A fire butthole just, just wasn't worth it anymore. I think that's what I knew I grew up. That was it. Real, and now I'm playing video games. A real coming of age story. Amen. Ah, oh, it's this one. Back up here. Mm, welcome back, my nemesis. She's not even my nemesis, she's too ugly to be my nemesis. I always felt like if I had a nemesis, she would at least be pretty. And it would be a woman, I don't know why. But then I heard the laugh about the cupcakes. She's so vindictive. Look, she even has like a vampire tooth. I'm catching on to you, evil one. Okay, so she's eating her cookie, good for her. She's gotta get fat though. Shouldn't be eating so much cookies, especially a big one. Well, the last episode we had cupcakes. Oh yeah, again, see look, and last, cupcakes and cookies? She's not gonna be petite for very much longer. Okay, so you're gonna make she's petite? This one is, not this one. Oh, wait, oh! What? Yeah, okay, you're right. I just messed that one up, because I huh. did say that one. Ah, oh, dang it. This one's still ugly, whatever. Everything's recorded, right? Whatever. Everything's recording? Cool. Evidence. Yeah. Burn the evidence. I'm gonna count that as edit that out. Please, please do. <laughs> oh my god, she's like, oh my god, don't touch me. Look at my face. Uh huh, did you seriously just do that? I can't have the stuff. Oh my god. I don't like that. She's like right behind her, and then you just see her pop up like something in her eyes open, and she gets all this red blush. And look, and she's blushing too. She saw the whole thing. She saw the whole thing coming from the back right here. Her eyes straight down there. Look at that. And she's so happy she snuck that in. And like, I'm not here. Or maybe they do know I'm here. That's exactly why they're doing it. Oh, this is getting better. Look, her mouth's full. And suddenly this, the door. Well, I can't read today. God dang it. Suddenly the door swings open. Shaka Oh my god, it's Monica. I forgot there was a fourth member. I'm sorry, I forgot all about you. You don't have to say sorry. That's okay. We've only been here for like five minutes to be honest. You just missed a good butt smacking and some devouring of cookies. It's not a big deal. 
Am I old enough to be She has a. Oh my god, look at that. So you're straight out calling her out. Monica chose the club over her boyfriend after all. Dang. No love for her friends. But boyfriend. Oh, what on earth are you talking about? She's trying to deny it. I'm trying to play the fool. Oh, you said that's my last period. I was like, oh. No, that was her last period. Okay. Not her period. Oh, oh, I get it. Now I get what you're saying. That's awkward. That was slow. Please edit that out. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> <laughs> of course it makes no sense to you. Because she's a fool. She's the dumb one of the group. She's the ugly dumb one of the group. We all have to have one of those. It I makes like, the rest of us look that much better. I like how all the girls just stand in front of you. It's not like a circle. I know. They all just, they all just, they like, just want to know. Yeah. yeah. They want my approval, and they, they all have it, except this one. I don't like this one. But they all have it. Piano. I find myself smiling. Oh, I'm so happy. So you're still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason why I admire her. It's not what I said. It's not the one I admire, but whatever. Why do you admire her? Why well, is that? Because she's no, always you, happy. You're like, oh, that's not why I admire her. I never said I admire her in the first place, so like... Oh, Jesus, why are you so close to me? Oh my god. Personal space. Even, even video game me said that. I have my eyes, I find your face filling my vision. Well, duh. Right here. I nearly fall out of my chair. Yeah, it's... it's... <laughs> sorry again, oh my god. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. Oh, really? You're gonna be mad for sleeping at your literature club? You should be happy I'm here. You're staying up late again, aren't you? Yes, I'm staying up late. Don't worry. You're not my mother or my girlfriend. I could stay up as long. Oh my god, this lady. She don't even know me. You got really defensive on that one. I really did. Why is she so mad? Don't worry about when I sleep. Oh, video gave me saved it. Nice. Good for me. She's all getting mad and then I kind of switch. It's like, oh my god, you're so right. You're always looking out for me. Thanks for wanting me to have my proper sleep. <sighs> Never mind. I guess video gave me is smooth. I gotta take some notes. I got for better than looking for yourself. Oh. <laughs> Just called her out for oversleeping. Nice. You gotta, you gotta be nice and then you gotta take back a little bit, that's right. That's how, that's how you get them every time. Whoa! Okay. What? Okay, so she asked me to tie this. Of course she did. So we have that laugh, that suspect laugh. E he 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 he. You can never trust the beginning with the E. And look at that, the blushing and. Why are we angled like this? What am I li- uh, Just go with it. Just I, let it happen. I am, I'm about to let it happen. I better be untying that. It better be smooth right now. That'd be the perfect move. Don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it. Stupid. No, okay. I'm happy with this, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I am. I get to get close to you like that. Look at you. The bottom might come off. That's what she said. Who says that? Girls who want it. <laughs> Edit that out, please. <laughs> Why is this one so hard to close? Because it doesn't want to be closed. You're just this thing. Oh, wow. This is getting freaky. What are you smiling about? I know what you're smiling about. It means my boobs got bigger again. Good for you, dog. This is totally dirty. I don't think I can have you in the same room. I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I'm going to give me like three minutes. Maybe four. Don't say it out loud, duh. Is she uh, again with the laugh? <laughs> Anyways, why am I trying to change the subject? Alright, come on, video game me. You were smooth for a little bit, now you're just, you're just messing up yourself. Mm -mm. She. I'm gonna read that slowly. So Yuri hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. Okay, that's cool. I expected for it. Oh, that's cool. Just let me read your poem. Thank you. Jesus. Oh, it was long. Never mind. I regret that. Jesus. 
Uh, okay, bottles. Alright, it's a little better. At least I didn't start off with, hey, my fat ass wants to eat some food. I pop off my scalp like the lid of a cookie jar. God dang it! Of course you fatty! It's already brought up the cookie jar. That's the secret place where I keep all my dreams. Little balls of sunshine, all rubbing together like a bundle of kittens. I reach inside with my thumb and forefinger and pluck one out. It's warm and tingly. Are we still talking about cookies? But there's no time to waste. I put it in the bottle to keep it safe. And I put the bottle on the shelf with all the other bottles. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts in the bottle. All in a row. Keep scroll. Oh, too much scroll. Where'd I go? Where did I leave off? Right here. My collection makes me lots of friends. Each bottle, a starlight to make amends. Sometimes my friends feel a certain way. Down comes a bottle to save the day. Night after night, more dreams. Friend after friend, more bottles. All right, now we're, now we're in my language. Let's start talking about. Sounds like some beer. Deeper and deeper, my fingers go. Nope. Well, it was going to beers, but after that line, it kind of went another direction. Ew. Like exploring a dark cave. Just go. Oh man, discovering the secrets hiding in the nooks and crannies. Boy, aren't we all digging and digging, scraping and scraping. You shouldn't be scraping. I blow dust off my bottle caps, alright? It doesn't feel like time's elapsed. My empty shelf could use some more. My friends look through my locked front door. Finally, all done, I open up and in comes my friends. In they come, in such a hurry. Do they want my bottles that much? I frantically pull them from the shelf one after another, holding them out to each and every friend, each and every bottle. But every time I let one go, it shatters against the towel between my feet. Happy thoughts, happy thoughts, happy thoughts and shards all over the floor. Oh my god, it's got really dark. They're supposed to be for my friends. My friends who aren't smiling. They're all shouting, pleading, something. But all I hear is echo. Echo, 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 echo inside my head. <gasps> She's crazy. This is more foreshadowing, isn't it? I hope so. I hope I call it. It makes me sound smart. How do I, how do I exit this? I read it. What? Do I? Oh, okay, cool. Lockwood was like, man, I'm done reading it. Holy crap! That poem took me in such a roller coaster of emotions. First, I was very, very upset that you're talking about cookies again, as always. Then it kind of sounded like you were going into sex, and then that changed, thank God. Then we got into, then we got into beer, and I was like, all right, cool, I can finally relate. And then you got into putting your fingers into caverns and caves, and then I was like, all right, well, this got weird. And then you got super depressing with the shattering and. Yeah, you just, you're so weird, lady. Alright, who am I reading next? Who's lovely poem am I reading next? Let's get the annoying ones out of the way. Let's Oh, yeah, I, don't be flattered. Don't be flattered. She looks like she's confused. Like, she really is. Yeah, you should be confused. Don't even be, I'm gonna explain it to you. It's just, you're really annoying me and I just wanna get you out of the way. So we're gonna be number two. Here we go, this is Natsuki's poem. What did she say? Amy likes spiders. Wow, really well written. So, so well thought out. Jesus Christ. You know what I heard about Amy? Amy likes spiders. I, I... Man, this lady's literature prowess is unmatched. <laughs> Ickly, Ickly, Icky, Wrigley, did I say Wrigley? Yeah, Wrigley. Wrigley, Harry, ugly spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Um, Amy has a cute singing voice. That's, that's awesome. I heard her singing my favorite love song. Every time she sang the chorus, my heart would pound to the rhythm of the words. But she likes spiders. That's why I'm not friends with her. Uh, oh, what's that? Yeah, right here. A raccoon! Ah, I forgot she writes in handwriting. It, it happened in the dead of night while I was slicing bread for a guilty snack. My intention was caught by the scuttering of a raccoon outside my window. That was, I believe, the first time I noticed my strange tendencies as a... What? I can't an ordinary. An ordinary human. I can't read that. I don't know why. I gave the raccoon a piece of bread in my subconscious well aware of the consequences. Well aware that a raccoon that is fed will always come back for more. The enticing beauty of my cutting knife was the symptom. Whoa. Alright, see? This is what I mean about the creepiness. Why are we talking about the cutting knife now? The bread, my hungry curiosity, the raccoon, an urge. She's gonna kill the raccoon. This goes dark. The moon increments, is that, is that, that's an R, right? Incursive? Okay. The moon increments its phase 
and reflects that much more light off of my cutting knife. The very same light that glistens in the eyes of my raccoon's friends. Ah, oh, goodbye my raccoon friends. You're going to die. I slice the bread fresh and soft. The raccoon becomes excited. Or perhaps I'm merely projecting my emotions onto the newly satisfied animal. Yikes. The raccoon has taken to following me. You could say that we've gotten quite used to each other. The raccoon becomes hungry more and more frequently, so my bread is always handy. Every time I brandish my cutting knife, the raccoon shows me its excitement. The ru oh, a rush of blood. Classic. Is that what? Pavlovian? Yeah, right. That's yeah. that's what it says. Yeah, the classic Pavlovian conditioning. I slice the bread and I feel myself again. Dude, this she totally cut the raccoon. I like the way this one turned out, so I hoped you'd do it too. All right, let's take a look. Save me! Ah, oh, great, even more darker. The colors they won't stop. Bright, beautiful colors, flashing, expanding, piercing red, green, blue, an endless cacophony of meaningless noise. I hate this mouse scroll. The noise it won't stop. Violent, grating waveforms, squeaking, screeching, piercing, sine. Cosine, tangent, alright, some math, alright, I like it, math scares me too, like playing a chalkboard on a turntable, like playing a vinyl on a pizza crust, an endless poem of meaningless, load me, what does that mean, load me, is it a click, no, no, oh, it's about to get spooky, Monica's one of the spooky ones, Monica, don't smile at me like that after I just read that dark poem, that was weird. Abstract, you call it abstract? No, that's not abstract. I clearly know what you meant. Did you know what you meant? Yeah. Well, except for the load me part. I, that, that one just creeped me out. How does she know I'm on the computer reading this? Space your words can totally. Yeah, that huge space between the end of your poem and load me? Yeah, super creepy. It's almost like magic. Huh. Foreshadowing. And call it every time. For the witch. All these four lovely ladies read my poems. Apparently, I did a really good job, and I don't know. So apparently, I'm gonna go to a festival and just perform it for everybody. Fantastic. Good for me. Hopefully, it comes out just as good as this one. And hopefully, these ladies don't do dark poems because that's gonna really put a damper on the festival. Well, then just load Monica. <laughs> Dude, I don't want to load Monica. It sounds creepy. Or sexy? Oh, load me. Oh, oh, load me with what? Sorry, I have a, I have a hard drive that I can plug in. Cuckoo! Please edit that out. The comment or the drum? The air drum? All of it. That was all bad. It was all horrible. If it takes you standing in front of a room for two minutes and reciting poem, then I know you can do it. Again, we're volunteering me. Jesus Christ. Whatever. Everyone's looking away. Dude, uh, I'm gonna totally, it's gonna be mean. Am I gonna have to read the poem? Monica, you can't read the poem because yours are really creepy. Yours are really sad and you start talking about killing raccoons. Yours, you just, no one's gonna wanna join after reading yours. They're gonna think we're just advertising for a preschool. And I, they might they might join it because of you. You get really weird with cookies and fingering caves. And unbutton her and, top. Oh yeah, we could just do that. We should do that for the festival. I'll just go up there and we'll unbutton and unbow. I don't know how do you say it? untie. Sorry, untie all this stuff. Unbow. We'll get we'll get members for sure. Go that rope for today. Stand up and seven and All right. So I recite my poem, okay? It's not exactly confidently in my own writing. It's hard to put energy into it. Despite that, once I finish, I receive applause anyway. They're all so nice to me. Look at that. I still don't know what I wrote, but they're all so nice. <laughs> Maybe it's better that way. Yeah. And they wrote in Spanish. I think that's why they're all just so bloody. <laughs> well, thanks, girls. You guys are all so nice. You know, all Los pantalones tienen queso. Oh, oh like, Jesus. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but it sounds sexy. It's called what, because you're presenting. Jump. Her poem is called Jump. I hope you jump off a bridge. 
annoying little lady. Oh. oh, it's not the worst thing I've said on these. It's not, but I edited it out. It's a, <laughs> even though it's only been a few days, a lot of things have already changed. I joined a literature club. Apparently, I've become a great poet in the last few days. I found out four women running a literature club who are very pretty aren't having people join them because they're really creepy. They probably did have people join them, but they just all died. I think I'm next. So, but today's security is being a little quieter than usual on the way home. All right? I'm trying to get out of her. Hey, security. She looks worried. Oh, she opened up her eyes. What's wrong? She was totally spacing out. She was thinking about murder. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Sorry, that's quite the assumption. She's thinking about food. Of course she was. God dang it. Those cookies. Those cookies. Those cookies will be the death of her. Dum dum dum. Or shadow? Or shat baby. I don't know. I mean, Terry fumbles with her words. Oh, she's getting nervous. I think today's the day she invites me inside. Maybe that's gonna walk home with you. Uh huh. What would you do? Oh, she's getting jealous. Sounds like. Kind of putting me in the spot here. Yeah, she's trying to call me out. I would walk home with Yuri. I would so walk home with so Yuri. I walk, of course, I'd pick you, so Yuri. You're loyal. And you're right here. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm not gonna get. Yeah. What kind of answer would I give? But uh, there we go. You really think I would ditch you for Yuri? That's right. Boom. Video game me smooth. Even though that was the first option I ever picked. So who cares? God, every girl does that. But she's so cute and smart. Yeah. What? What? what would you want me to say yes? Cause she is. But you're right in front of me. So. And she's also not into anal, so... Yeah, oh, Jesus. It's a big, it's a big plus for me, anal. You can, you can smoke, you could, you could have been a murderer. Case in point, you could have been a murderer. <laughs> you, you could have even flunked high school. If you do anal, I'm gonna take you in. You're putting flunk high school and murder, like, in the same, like, They are, they, they really are. They really are. One's you're murdering your career, and the other one you're murdering somebody. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna end this episode right here. Thank you for watching Let's Play Hero Random Theory. This has been Doki Doki Literature Club. My name is Damien Miles. Uh, this is my director, Jermaine Rubacaba. Before I give the floor to him, I want you guys to go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. We really appreciate that. Jermaine, last words? You can follow me on Instagram at what is Jermaine. Bye, everybody. Until next time. Why? Why does Monica get to Montreal? Hold up. How do you? Uh. <laughs> I know, guys. Edit that out. Please.